Well, Gus, this is your first taste of National Hockey League playoff hockey. What did it feel like for you? No, it, it felt definitely could feel that the referee had, had a higher higher uh, standard today. Uh, it felt more, way tougher, more hits, and it felt like like a lot of emotions, a lot of energy out there, and, and the game was really fast. I know when you play that position and they get a couple of quick goals in the middle period, you have to kind of hit the reset button. How are you able to kind of stabilize things and then play your best hockey from that point on? Yeah, no, we're, we're, only, we're only down one goal there, and if you're going to give up because you give up two bad goals in the second period, you, you might as well change goalie. So, no, I, I just try and reset there and, and was waiting for, for us to shoot one shot and, and score one goal. How difficult is it when you're this late into the night, this many minutes, and you're in that crouch, and they get overtime power plays? How do you battle through that situation? No, you, you, you just reset. Like you, we gone through a lot of videos, seeing how they're playing their power play, and and you just, you just have to find some energy. Usually, I have some extra battery somewhere, and then you just have to use it during the the PK there, and then push your body to to get to the right position in the right time. I don't want to let you go. Rock Faber, that stick play with the game, really basically on Dallas' stick. What did you see? No, I, I saw him. He he did the classic stick on puck there, and it, and it hits his, his uh, stick. So I think the D coach is, is going to give him a big thumbs up on the. We're going to give you a big thumbs up. 52 saves. Congratulations. Thank you. The Gus Bus rides into the Stanley Cup playoffs and makes it look easy tonight. A brilliant win for the young goaltender.